this is a thing that for a while I didn't believe was true when I would hear stories about celebrities on dating apps or a friend who was like, oh my God, I, I matched with Jonathan Taylor Thomas of Home Improvement fame on the dating app. No one ever said that to me. Um, and I guess there's been some news this week about the goings on of, of A-list celebrities on dating apps like Raya. So what's the scoop? Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. <laughs> so I've mentioned uh, Raya on the show before. Get Serby it's, on Raya. If you have a Raya pass, email it to us, and we will give it to Serby. Alec and I will not use it. Someone emailed us, and I'm just I'm just outing Serby. She said it was, you know, like the oh, I didn't respond in a certain window of time, and now I feel awkward responding. So I'm just letting you know that's why Serby <laughs> didn't respond to you. Email back and say it's totally cool and not weird. <laughs> um, his name is Alex, I think. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Um, so anyway, it's it's for those of you who don't know, it's an exclusive app that often attracts uh, people who work in and like the industry, like film or television or whatever. There are quite a few models, celebrities, influencers, and then there's also just regular people like me um, who just happen to get on the app. But I'm not on the app yet. I don't um, think you're regular, but that's just me. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Uh, so. Speaking of sharing experiences on dating apps and Raya, um, several uh, TikTok users have recently um, posted about their experiences with celebrities. One is uh, a Naveen J, who is an influencer and a model, and she recently, or she at one point, matched with Ben Affleck. And she didn't believe that it was him. She thought it was a fake profile, so she unmatched him. And soon after, he sent her a video uh, in her Instagram DMs saying, Naveen, why did you unmatch me? It's me. It's a good uh, bit. Normally, yeah. that'd be super creepy, but I think he, I think it's okay in this context. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Funny, yeah. Um, so another woman, Kate Harrelson, said that she matched with Matthew Perry, and she saw the Naveen J uh, video. And so she decided to post her video, which uh, took place, I think, sometime last year. And the video is of a recording of Matthew Perry and her on a FaceTime call playing 20 questions. Do you always play with your hand this much? <laughs> and there has been a mixed response to these revelations. So on one side, there are individuals who are calling Ben Affleck and Matthew Perry creepy saying that as powerful, influential men, they shouldn't be sending uh, videos and messages to young women. Um, the woman who matched with Matthew Perry said, a lot of people were saying I'm a bully and mean for posting it this, and it made me feel kind of bad, but at the same time, I feel like a lot of guys in Hollywood are talking to all these young girls, and it's something that I think a lot of people should be aware of. She ended up removing the video because she said she felt a little bit bad about the uh, hate that Matthew Perry was receiving, and she also called him a nice guy. However, on the other side, people are disturbed that uh, Raya users are sharing private messages and recording calls and things like that. And the woman who matched with Ben Affleck said, I'm seeing a lot of comments calling him a creep, and I don't think that's fair. I wasn't making fun of him in the video. I was making fun of myself for thinking he was a catfish, and it was just supposed to be funny. And Chrissy Teigen said, I agree celebs shouldn't be making these creepy, desperate video replies on Raya, but it's tacky to release private messages. You're both wrong. Congrats. Chrissy Teigen's where I get all my good Twitter takes. Yeah, Chrissy Teigen, <laughs> yeah. who for two weeks was like, I'm never coming on Twitter again. It's ruined my life. And then two weeks later, she was like, I She's need back. my juice. She's back with a vengeance. Um, so I have a lot of thoughts about this, but I want to hear from the two of you. I, I think like I think the the Ben Affleck thing was just fun. Like she wasn't trying to do a, I when I, I saw that, I was like, this isn't a gotcha on Ben Affleck. It was just kind of funny. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like when you're a celebrity, there's a certain uh, expectation of like a loss of privacy. However, that gets really complicated in the maybe like private grounds of, of a, a dating app. And so I, I don't know the specifics of the Matthew Perry thing, um, but like, I think 
in general, it like listen, if you match with a celebrity and they're again being like a creep, abusive, et cetera, et cetera, like yeah, like fuck that shit. But if they're just like awkward, weird, not funny, boring, maybe they talk about themselves. Like, I don't know, like I can't believe I'm siding with celebrities, but like just just let them have their privacy, you know? Um Yeah. And, and also in in terms of like isn't this app is literally for people who want to date the rich and famous and you're going to like, I feel like you're signing onto a kind of social contract of like, I can be discreet and you're basically being like, no, I can't. Right. Like, right. you yeah. know, if, if you're Bill Gates trying to get on the Raya scene, you don't want to, you, you don't want people talking about how small your dick might be or how many times you talk mm -hmm. about Jeffrey Epstein. Like you, yeah. you just want that discretion. That's the third Epstein reference of the episode. <laughs> um, um, well, yeah. Well, let's, yeah. Well, let's be honest here. You are not getting, I'm just backing away because I don't want to yell too loud. You're not getting on a Raya because like, oh, I always want to meet like a nice partner to settle down with and everyone there is just like down to earth and nice. No, fuck that. You're on that because you're chasing clout and it's fine. Yes. I get it. You know what I mean? At a certain age, if there was an app where I could have asked Kira Knightley out on a date, you know I would have. But it's, 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 you're clearly in it for one thing. You want to flirt with and maybe uh, have consensual sex with a hot famous person or a non-hot famous person who's hot because of their fame or their wealth so no. like don't get on here and act all messy too you should be kicked off the platform if you're sharing screenshots like it's i hate that i'm signing with celebrities too but like jesus christ like the whole point of something like raya is like hey let's all act like we've been here before and like be cool with it i think it's the same thing like if you're in a you know if you're in a city where a lot of celebrities live and you're out at a bar or restaurant and you see someone there don't take a fucking picture just be cool mm -hmm. everyone act cool let people cook and then i think along with this like with the dating apps there are age settings that you have if if a man or a woman or whoever doesn't want to be approached by older men they can literally set that up in their thing so don't don't miss me with this sort of like how horrible that matthew perry or ben affleck they matched because the settings had them in their age brackets and i'm not going to infantilize women and say that a woman can't as an adult decide what age man she wants to date date a 105 year old for all i care but I, I just think the way this get, this, get, this is getting framed in the media is so weird. Also, just don't snitch. I hate snitching. This is just snitch culture at its worst. And like Alex said, I feel sick to my stomach that I'm sticking up for. Ben Affleck, I don't feel that bad for sticking up for, but God, Matthew, Matthew Perry. I'm sticking up for Matthew Perry. Chandler from Friends. Bingling. Oh, it feels gross. Serby, what's but, your yeah. take? I'm really disturbed by it i it's so disrespectful i think that's what it is it like you're going on this app you want to meet somebody we're all adults like what's the big deal like they're a celebrity who the fuck cares like it they're just another person and maybe because i mean i love celebrity gossip but i'm not super into like celebrities like if when i see a celebrity out i'm just sort of like oh taller than i thought or shorter than i thought normally but, that one yeah but it not nothing more than that if it was like a supreme court justice or somebody i'd be like oh my god um sonia santo mayor rolls by and you're just like what yeah i'm like oh my god i love you can we can i please have a picture like i would lose my shit with certain people like that um but I think it's just disrespectful and it's unkind. And recording your FaceTime call and putting it up for people to, to laugh at, I mean, that's just gross to me. You did it for a specific reason so that you could show people that you matched with Matthew Perry. I just think that if you're that immature to do something like that, you're not mature enough to be in a relationship, to be in like a, like a long-term meaningful relationship that requires discretion. There is like an interesting conversation to have about like the age gap. And when I see older men who are like perpetually dating younger women, I'm like, that's kind of creepy. At the same time, like there are lots of non creepy relationships of like younger people and older people. It just people fall in love for a variety of reasons. Um, but I think like to go on Raya to be like, I want to fuck someone who's rich and or famous and then be like, oh, but the power differential is is not cool well like but you like you went on there and like it's cool like if there are there are old dudes who prey on younger women that that's totally creepy but at the same time i would not be like well let me get on there to be preyed on by old dudes or women you know like whatever yeah it, it's it, it is it is complicated and you know 
shouts to our producer joy i'll clearly acknowledge grooming exists it is a thing and especially it happens in the industry but that also i don't know i just have a complicated feeling about like i feel like we can acknowledge that grooming exists a lot of men especially old hollywood men are creepy but also that like if you're on one of these apps they are for celebrities you know most of the guys on there are a certain age and you're putting certain age stuff on there i think it's just weird to like do that to people. And I think too, like, I think both of you made this point. If, if like Matthew Perry or Ben Affleck were being like abusive, shitty assholes, then you know what? Yeah. Put them yeah. on blast, ruin their shit. But if it's just like a sad man in Hollywood, I'm just going to assume Matthew Perry's sad. I'm sorry. I'm just going <laughs> to say, I think he's probably sad. And he's just like, let's play 20 questions. Like, I don't know. Like, unless the questions are like, let me see your birth certificate. Like, I don't know. I just think like, I don't know. It just, it's just hard for me to think that, that like, it's ever a good idea to rock that. Make I, better I just, choices in your life. Make better choices. And I'll say this. And this is the most important point here. If you get Serbia on Raya, she is not messy like this. She is someone no. who will have respect. Discreet. She, she will. Let's yes. say you're an F1 driver and you match and you message her. This is not someone who's screenshotting. This is not someone who's taking videos. Yeah. This is someone who's like, I'm an adult. You're an adult. Let's talk about our shared interest and see where this can go. Mm-hmm.